so I took this photograph on William's 70th birthday mm. at the bunker. And on the top of the cake, it says, Happy Birthday, William Burroughs. And he's holding a Tibetan artifact. Yeah. And it's, um, well, it's moving to me because now we're celebrating William's 100th birthday. And this image makes me think of the... There, there were these huge, the, many huge celebrations in honor of William's 70th birthday 30 years ago. Uh, there was a sort of, there was a sort of unending series of parties for his 70th, 70th birthday. There was one at the Limelight, which was a nightclub back then, and then there was one at Danceteria afterward, and then there was a final party at a, at someone's private loft, and. There were there was a huge reception at the limelight in particular as it was a formal dinner, and all the artists of the day were there like Lou Reed and uh, Laurie Anderson and Terry Southern and Norman Mailer and Jackie Curtis and Peter Orlovsky and Carl Apfelschnitt and John Dorno and Keith Haring and Philip Glass. Don Waters and Allen Ginsberg and Victor Bacris and Patrick Fox and John Ashbery and Larry Rivers and Howard Bruckner and Herbert Hunky and Brian Geisen and Andy Warhol and I'm almost done. Wurlitzer and Glenn O'Brien and Jim and Rosemary Carroll and Diego Cortez and Kurt Vonnegut and Ann Waldman and frankly I stopped there because I didn't want to go further, but that there were there were a lot more than that. So um, a lot of my my favorite shots I took of William are from this important day uh, for me, his seventieth mm-hmm. birthday. Yeah. And what do you think he'd make of all of the kind of hundred year celebrations of you know this year's celebrations of his life and work? Do you think you know did he enjoy? all of this celebration or was he part of it or yeah he did yeah yeah he did i don't you know william once said to me um you're not going to be any good at at anything unless you want to do it and i don't think william would have you know showed up unless he was gonna you know unless unless he thought about it and Mm. really wanted to greet people who had come out to see him so yeah he seemed to be having a great time he was happy to see Herbert Hunky. I, I can see all the pictures that I took that night, you know, at all these parties. And yeah, he was, no, I think he was very, I think he was really honored because I remember there was one major table at the party at the Limelight and next to him were Lou Reed and Allen Ginsberg and Jim Carroll. And, you know, it was a nice people. Yeah. 